Hope everybody had a good fourth. Um, today we're going to make a bud vase out of that uh, recycled wood I uh, got from that company that recycles pallets and uh, stickers from overseas freight. All right, uh, Cody, you wanted to take a look, little closer look at this. Um, it was, I thought it was two inches, but it's inch and a half by three eighths is the, the thickness on it. And there, I can show you a little bit better. There's the cutting edge there. And he's going to make one, so it's a nice tool for hollowing out some deep stuff. It, it doesn't flex on you at all. I actually had some planer blades that I was making some big sca scrapers like this too, but they, they're just a little bit too thin and they flex when you get out there, you know, too far out on the tool rest. But there we go. And it just comes down, I don't know, maybe maybe inch and a half or two inches back on there. It comes around the edge there. So... Love to see the video when you, you do it on making one. All right, we're just gonna make a little bud vase. Um, I have some little uh, glass tubes here. I drilled a hole down through the through the middle of it there already. Now I turned a tenon on the end of it, so I'm just gonna mount it in my uh, chuck here. And we'll bring the tail stock up and support it a little bit. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it down. Just a bowl gouge. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and pull the 
tailstock back here. I'm just going to use the fingernail gouge here. Clean this up a little bit. I'm just kind of tapered it in a little bit. The the tube actually has a little sleeve on it, so we'll make sure it fits in there. I'll drill it down a little bit more. But all right, all right. I'm just going to go ahead and sand it up now. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick why I get a lot of questions on this. It's just uh, paste wax, crystal clear paste wax, same thing, um, and mineral oil. I just take a stick, scoop some of it in it. This is not critical, how much, anything else. I mix it at, you know, about 10 to 1, I guess. Um, no secret. Put some in there. This is uh, mineral oil. You can pick this up at a pharmacy. It's, uh, it's just clear, clear mineral oil. A little bit in. It's perfect. Just enough to keep the sandpaper clean. And I mix it up. That's it. No secret. No, you know, family recipe. Nothing else. That's it. Um, and then I just sand with it. Just to cut down on the sanding dust because I like my lungs. No other reason. Um, I, I like the, the satin finish it gives, but basically I started doing it because the sanding dust was just not good. I didn't like it. So that's why I started doing it, but I, I also like the, the finish it gives. And it's a nice, easy finish to uh, reapply. You can apply, you know, wax over it anytime you want um, and just and buff it out with a rag. But that's all it is. So hope that helped. I just put a little bit on like that, wipe it off on the edge, turn the lathe speed down. Just like that. And I just I take a paper towel and wipe the excess off in between each grit as I go through them. And I sand almost always up to about 600. So I'll go ahead and run through those. There you can see it uh, just creates a little little paste when you're sanding and that, that's what traps all the dust. It just uh, that easy and I just keep, keep running through the grits. And when it starts to dry out a little bit, I apply a little bit more. Just kind of keep it wet. All right, I'm just finishing up with the uh, 600 here. I just cut the cut the bottom out a little bit so it'll sit nice and flat. I'm gonna just go ahead and clean that up real quick. All right, just cleaned up the bottom, um, and this is that wood I got uh, from that company that salvages uh, uh, pallets and and stickers from overseas off of freight. But vial just pops in there, and the overall size is about three and a quarter wide at the base and. Uh, about four and a quarter tall. Um, I had somebody comment, want to know what the starting size was. The starting size on it was, I think, uh, four inches by uh, five. So, and then we, and then we brought it down to that that dimension, about about three and a quarter by 
by four and a quarter. So, all right, there we go. I'll put some uh, detailed pictures up on uh, at the end of the video here and on Facebook. But thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.